sister. My sister right here with the all black on. Do you understand you in this light? Me? Yeah. I'm a you a Christian, but the Christian is a religion, right? When we talk about the nation, we talk, when we talk about the Israelites, we talk about a nation of people. From Genesis, in the book of Genesis, God created 18 nations, right? And what nation you come out of, out of those 18 that he created? Because they're still here on the earth. The Israelites, right? So that's what we're trying to get you to understand. But it's things required of you as to be the greatest people on the face of the earth. You understand that? Give me Second Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 54. Because... The list of, we're going to show you how the Lord feel about you, sister. I know um, I know y'all are familiar with this scripture, but we're going to bring it out for you too, Rock. All right? Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. Come on. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him come we all. Right. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So he said, from Adam come all the people in whom he hath chosen. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Hey, bro, listen up, sister. Listen to good to what the Bible saying. Read. Because thou madest the world for our sakes. You, you heard that? So he said he made the whole earth was created for your sakes. You understand what that means, sis? You understand what that means, bro? The whole earth, earth was created for you and your people. That's good. You understand that? Read. For our sakes. As for the other people, but from the other people that the other 17 nations God created, read, which also come of Adam, and they come from Adam too, right? Because the 18 nations God created in the beginning, all of them stem from the seed land of Adam. Read, thou hast said that they are nothing. So the other 17 nations God said that they are nothing, but the nation of Israel God chose you, and with that being chosen come a great, a huge responsibility. Right. The responsibility is that we gotta. Keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Hold that. Give me um five and sixteen Matthews. Because what we gotta do as a nation of people, we have to be the light for the rest of the world and and, uh, and, and show them how they should walk. All right. Read Matthew chapter five verse sixteen. Come on. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work. Read it again. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work. So as the greatest nation of the uh, as the greatest nation that's on the face of the earth that God created. When, you, when he created you, he said, we also must let our light shine. What is that light? Give me um, 6 and 23. What is the light that we're supposed to be letting shine before men? All right, because we all got the understanding that we are the nation of Israel. Right. So I don't have to go for that. So we're going to show you what else. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. Come on. For the commandment is a lamp. For the commandment is a lamp. Read. And the law is light. And the law is light. Come on. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. And when you go off from keeping the commandments or showing your light, you got other brothers that what, correct you and right. show you to what? Get back into the spirit. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25. Uh -huh. Not forsaking the... Not, not for what? Not forsaking. So what does it mean to forsake? To not do. To not do. To not, so not forsaking the what? Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Not forsaking the assembly, gathering together as a people, read, as a nation. Not just a brother or two. You got to get with somebody and for fellow like-minded hey, believers, bro. and you have to not forsake the assembling of ourselves. What? Together. Come on. As a matter of some men. Because there's a lot of people out here that understand they Israel, but they ain't trying to do nothing the Bible says. Right, right. That's the matter that some are doing, read. As a matter of some men. Come on. But exhorting one another. But exhorting one another. How? And so much the more as you see the day approach. As we all see that this is the end time. Right. Look at look around you. Look at the, 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 the laws that's being pushed throughout the media, throughout the government. We, 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 are, now, we are now at the last days, brothers and sisters. That's so right. when we see that time approaching, we must do we must, more so now than ever. We must uh, keep keep what the Bible say to do. You understand that, bro, in the back? Read on. Brother, chapter 8, verse 4. Come on. Unto you, O men, I call, uh -huh. and my voice is to the sons of men. You see that? So the Lord is reaching out to you men first, because once you men get in line and get in order, the women is not, by nature, they're going to follow. This is why you got to keep the commandments, and you have to keep them now. Not tomorrow, not next week, but now, because this is what's going to come up. That's what's, this is what's going to happen to this place. Read. Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 8. Come on. But beloved, 
Be not ignorant of this one thing. Come on. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. Come on. And as a thousand years as one day. Read. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. So what are some of the promises that the Lord have told us through the scriptures? One promise was that we would go on slavery on slave ships. Did that happen? Right. One promise was that our nationalities would be taken from us. Did that happen? Now hold that, give me uh, Malachi 4 and 1. We're going to see what else the Lord promised before Peter because when you understand the history, we're going to go to the Old Testament and see some of the promises that the Lord said that was going to happen. Malachi 4 and 1. Malachi chapter 4 verse 1. Read. For behold, the day coming that shall burn as an oven Come on. and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. You, you hear that? So what is that going into, bro? Huh? The what? All right, what about you, brother? What y'all say? Did y'all hear that scripture? I'm, I'm sorry, I was on the Read it again for the brothers. I need you to listen too, bro. Read. Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. Come on. For behold, the day coming. So look, a day is going to come. Read. That shall burn as an oven. That's going to burn like an oven. Read. What? And, go ahead. And all the proud. And all the proud, the people that lift their head up, that don't want to listen to what God made to do, who think they know more than God. Read. Yay. And all that do wicked, and all that break the commandments, read, shall be stubble. Shall be what? Stubble. Shall be what? Stubble. What is stubble? No? Huh? Burnt up. Ashes. The ashes dust the dust. That's what's coming. Nuclear thermo missiles is coming. ICBM missiles is coming here to this place. Right. But before they come, the Lord is bringing out his prophets to get you guys to give you the warning. Yes. So when he judge you, you can't say you didn't know. Yes. Now go back to Peter 3 and 8. All right, read on. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, the, saith and, the Lord. And saith who? The Lord. Saith me. The Lord. Saith the other the prophets in purple. The Lord. God himself wrote this. This was a promise he made. Right. This That's is right. going for sure to happen. Now go back to Peter 3 and 8. I mean 3 and 9. Peter chapter 3, verse 9. Come on. Yeah. The Lord is not slack uh -huh. concerning his promise. So the Lord is not slack. I mean, he's not going to put off what he promised to do. We just right. we know about the slave ships. We know about our nationality being taken, right? And it, it, a whole lot of other promises he made that came to pass. This promise have not came to pass, but guess what? It's gonna happen. That's Read. Right. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Come on. As some men count slack, as some men count slackness, because brothers are putting it off all the time. Take out the trash. Well, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it the next hour. The God ain't like that. When He says it's gonna happen on that specific time, date. And yeah, that's when it's gonna happen. Read. Right. But it's long suffering to us words. It's long suffering to us words because he's given us a chance to repent. Right. How many times had the Lord sent his prophets out and gave us chance after chance after chance to repent? And we continue to turn our backs. Right. But he still, right now to this very day, is extending out his hands to you, brothers and you sisters. Right. right now to this very day, this is how merciful that the Lord is. Read. Not willing that any shall perish. Not willing. He don't want not one of his people to perish. He wants you to repent. Right. He wants you to keep the commandments. But it's up to you. you. Read. But that all shall come to repentance. But all shall come to repentance. Read on. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. So what does that mean? The day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Bro. Come and take what he wants. Huh? Come and take what he wants. How do a thief come? Do they come when you notice? How do a thief come? Huh? They come, they sneak up on you. When you ain't, when you lax, when you off guard. Right. That's how the Lord's gonna catch our people. Right. Why they off guard. So what you should, read on. In the which the heaven shall pass away uh -huh. with a great noise. So the heaven gonna pass away with a great noise. That means, boom, that's the bombs is talking about when they hit this place. Read. And the elements shall melt. When fervent heat, and what's coming to this day that he promised, is the day, remember what it said, what? Huh? The day of heat? Right, so he, and I read that part again. He promised that this would happen, read. And the which the heavens shall pass away uh -huh. with a great noise, Come on. and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So now, this is Peter prophesying the same thing that Malachi, two different prophets. It's prophesying the same thing, but he's saying the elements that something's gonna come that's gonna burn all the elements up and they're gonna melt with fervent heat. You understand that? Those are called ICBM missiles. Right. They didn't know the name back then, but we got the name now. You understand? Those are 
ICBM mission that's coming to this place. Y'all heard of what the destruction was going to happen, right? Y'all know the Lord flooded the earth out at one point with water. Now the second way he's going to bring it is through thermal, thermal nuclear destruction. Don't right. get distracted, brothers and sisters. Let, stay with me. Read. Is that it on that? The earth also uh -huh. and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So the works also going to be burnt up. Read. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Here's the point. Seeing all these things, sis, you listening? Seeing all these things going to happen because right now we're going over uh, the destruction that's coming to America. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 28 and verse 8. Bring it out! The prophets that have been before me uh -huh. and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries uh -huh. and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. You see that? Read it again. The prophets that have been before me. So the prophets are the man that's reading out of the Bible showing you what it's actually talking about. Because when you can go to your Sunday service, you can they'll never read out of the Bible word upon word precept giving you what is the Bible really about. But that's what the prophets of God are designed to do. And they had to what read. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. We pro they prophesied against many countries because it was already prophesied about destruction coming. Read. And against great kingdoms uh -huh. of war. And the great America is a great kingdom of war. Read. And of evil. And the evil that's happening. Read on. And of pestilence. And the sickness, coronavirus that's happening. Well, how you doing, my brother? Hey, we, what we doing, we going over, the, we going out of the scriptures, teaching our people on what's to come to this place. Right. But we, you, you, you already know? Okay, but we going to read it out of the word of God and the mouth of God. Now go, now go back to Peter's. Because it said, now what manner of person ought you to be seeing all these things is going to happen? So what, what type of person ought you to be? Because you got the man in the Sunday church, he said he is a person of God. But he's going to do right. nothing the Bible say. Right. You understand? So what manner of person ought you to be? Huh? Follow the ways of the Most High. Which is his what? All statues. Of you, uh, sister, what's your name? We're affecting the Messiah, don't you? Okay. My name is Raven. Raven, good to meet you. I'm Nehemiah. This is Obadiah. What manner of person are you to be? You don't know? That's fine. That's why we here. Read on, now, I read on. Teach up. What manner of person are you to be? Come on. In all holy conversation. In all holy conversation. Read. And godliness. And godliness. That's the manner a person ought you to be. That way you won't get trapped up in the bomb that's coming. Is that it on that? So we're still dealing with what's going on, but you got to learn how to conduct yourself so you won't be caught in the midst of fire that's coming here. Because God coming to destroy this place. You think God is happy with what's going on over here? You think, y'all think God is happy with what's going on? No. He's coming back with much wrath. Right. You understand? And whoever is in his way, who is not lined up with what the Bible say, they gonna be caught in his wrath. Y'all understand that? But we are here to save you from the destruction that's here to come. But you gotta apply what's written. Read. Titus chapter 2 verse 2. Uh -huh. Look at that. As an aged man, be sober. Uh -huh. so right. Sober is one way to walk in holiness. Sober minded, meaning what? Not smoking weed, not popping pills, not getting drunk, right. not dressing immodestly. Man being man in their households, leading it properly, working a job. Those are, read it again. The aged man be sober. Sober, read. Grave. Grave. Serious, read. Temperate. But he got to have a level of temperance in his graveness. He can't just be serious all the time. He got to know how to balance it out, read. Sound in faith. But he got to be sound in the scriptures. Read on. In charity. And he had to show charity. Read. In patience. And patience. He got to be, we got to be patient with one another. Because in Rockford, are we patient with one another? No. Soon as somebody say something you don't like, all hell tell the captain. It's on now. But God says you have to be patient with one another. Read. The aged woman. The aged woman also. Read. Likewise. Likewise. Read. That they be in behavior as becometh holiness. That they be in behavior that's coming holy, uh, becoming holiness. Read. Not false accusers. Don't be going around being false accusers. Being a, um, what they call that? Uh, a liar or a busybody or always since people busy gossiping. Read. Tailbearer. Tailbearer. Not, not giving too much wine. Not being giving too much wine. It's okay to have a little wine to ease, your, to ease yourself. But when you become drunk, that's when you out, out of the spirit. That's when you out of order of being holy. Now you unholy. Read. 
teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. Read on. That they may teach the young women. That you may teach that's your daughter. You got to teach your daughter. Read to what? To be sober. To be sober because she see your example. Read. To love their husbands. To love their husbands. It's have to be taught because for too long, we've been taught the opposite. We've been taught to hate our husbands. As soon as our people, if they get married, years tops. And they out the door and they split with a divorce. Why? Because they wasn't taught this. They, you got to be taught how to love your husband. The scriptures teach you how to do so. A lot of times our sisters think that they either equal on an equal playing field or they above because the so-called white man sent them above us, That's right? Nice. Okay, but they think that they equal, but the Bible don't teach that. Read on. To love their husband and to love their children. But they in love their children. Read. To be discreet. To be discreet. Read on. Chase. Chase. Keepers at home. In the house, not always on the streets. At 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, you out partying. You know what I mean? Grandma watching the kids. You out in the streets. Nah. God said that ain't how you must work. Read. Good. Uh -huh. Obedient to their own husbands. Good and obedient to their own husbands. Read. That the word of God be not blasphemy. The God of the word of God will not be a blasphemy if you walk in those waters. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.